ask him happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in pink and stuff. So today I'm doing a Q&A because a ton of you keep asking me questions and asking me to do another Q&A and it's been a really long time since I've done one. So I am doing one right as we speak and yeah basically before I get started with the video too I want to say so many people ask me if there's a way they can send me things letters blah 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 like if there's something you really really want to tell me but I might not see in a DM you can send it to my PO box and I'll probably write you back and I try to write as many people back as I can so I always link my PO box in the description so yeah just to let you guys know <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna hop right into it for and I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me questions and over like I got over like 2,000 comments so thank you for all your questions so I think I'm gonna maybe make this like a QA and a every like two or three weeks because apparently you guys have a lot of questions and I love that okay so first question what high school did you go to I went to Carlsbad high school freshman year and I'm technically still supposed to be in high school my friends and like my classmates are still in high school they're seniors so I'm technically still supposed to be a senior but sophomore year of high school modeling got very very serious for me and I had to maintain an entertainment work permit which is harder than just a normal work permit it's an entertainment work permit so like there's more things like qualifications you have to have to maintain that sorry I can't say that word right but anyways you have to have like perfect attendance perfect grades and everything like that and since I was missing school so much for modeling castings and just like work and all that everything that had to do with modeling I was always missing school for so I decided to do online school so I could maintain my perfect grades to have my work permit and then I could also model but right now I'm taking college classes but I mean I'm thankful because modeling made me work 10 times harder at school to keep that work permit but basically yeah I'm still supposed to be in high school but right now I take college classes so yeah I'm technically the graduating class of 2017 but I moved on faster than the rest of my class because of modeling um how did you meet rug okay so i met rug's cousin at fashion week because i was walking for one of the designers he works with and rug's cousin randomly texted me one day and he was like hey do you want to be like in my cousin's like video he's doing like some model warfare thing or whatever and i was like sure why not and rug lives super close to me he lives like maybe like 15 minutes away so i was like all right like this is right down the street might as well like let's do this and at the time i had no idea who rug was like no idea at all like on youtube like i only watched like makeup videos and stuff so i had no idea who he was and um i met him and it was super cool and we always stayed in contact i think that was like maybe like a year and a half ago or like maybe over a year ago it was so f like we <laughs> when i went to his house last we were like laughing about like we watched our old videos and we we're like just laughing about like how different we looked rug was like i look so young and i was like my eyebrow <laughs> So yeah, that's how we met through Rug's cousin and always like been friends since. Okay, um, do you want to be a mom when you're older? Yes, I want children. I want like two kids. If I have two girls, I'm going to try for a third kid for the different gender because I want a boy and a girl, but um, I'll stop at three. If I have three girls or three boys, I'm done to, for trying for different genders, but ideally I'd want one boy and one girl. Will you ever visit the UK, Italy, or France? Yes, I'd love to. I mean, who knows? It might be soon. <sighs> Would you do pranks, BTW? Love your videos. Uh, why are you so hot? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, you know what's so funny? My mom has so many video ideas for me, and they're all pranks, and my mom's like the biggest prankster ever. Like, it's hilarious. And I'm actually in the process of, well, actually today probably, I'm going to want to try to buy mics because there's only so many pranks you can do without like hooking up a mic because for the camera not to be obvious the camera person has to be very far away therefore you won't be able to hear the audio so i need to buy mics and i want to do so many pranks leave in the comments down below what you guys want me to do for pranks like i'm so excited like you y'all have no idea <laughs> what's the weirdest funniest dm or snap you've ever received okay and this is really inappropriate really gross but um this was like a little while ago too. This was probably when I was like, mm, I was like six years ago. So anyways, I got a snap where a guy printed out like tons of pictures of me and like was doing things to my pictures. Let's just say that. And it freaked me out. It didn't freak me out as much as like, okay, it freaked me out. But I was just like, I was just like, I didn't even know how to react to it. I just blocked the guy, but it was, I didn't know who it was either. It was just a random person. And ever since then, it was like, that was a really weird one for sure. 
what are the key steps to becoming a model i'm um, taking it seriously a lot of people just want to like be a model just because it sounds cool like i mean it'd be awesome to be a doctor because it'd be cool to be called dr Escom. but i mean you actually have to have a passion behind it and you actually have to take it seriously a lot of people because if you're doing it just because you want to be a model you're not going to actually put work towards it because you're gonna you're gonna get pissed off and you're gonna want to quit the moment you're not getting like notoriety for being a mom you know what i'm saying so it's like you actually have to get serious i know so many girls are like or so many girls and guys are like oh i want to be a model because i want people to know who i am and it's like well then you truly don't love what you're doing and then if you truly don't love what you're doing then you're not going to be good at it you know what i'm saying so just taking it seriously what will your second job be after modeling in youtube and why okay um I mean, what I would love to do and would be so cool is, I said this in my last q and I'd love to be like a party planner and then also, I mean, I think it'd be so cool to have my own agency because basically what an agent does is they have all these connections and they like have like a roster of girls and guys and they send those girls and guys out to the connections that they've made and I mean like once I'm all done with modeling and stuff, I'll probably have a lot of connections and I feel like it'd be so cool to be an agent or to be like a work for a magazine, like be an editor of a magazine, like write columns for a magazine i think that'd be so awesome like just do something in that area like something creative i'd love to do where do you live by the way not trying to be a stalker i know you're fine so i live in san diego and i mean san diego is a big county san diego is like really big right and there's like cities in san diego county and i live in carlsbad so i live in san diego but like to make the spectrum even like smaller I live in Carlsbad which is like a beach town and it's so beautiful here and I really do love Carlsbad I love LA because I'm up in LA all the time but Carlsbad's so much prettier like the beaches and everything like that like Carlsbad's a very nice place um would you ever date a follower of course why not I mean if you're following me that just shows that like you liked me so of course I want to be with someone that likes me how has YouTube affected your life um I feel like there's a lot more things, like, okay, so since I'm on camera and I'm talking to you guys, there's a lot more things that people can pick out about me that they don't like. And there's a lot more things that people can pick out about me that they do like, which is awesome. But, I mean, I've definitely gotten a lot of criticism because you just put yourself out there to so many people. And, I mean, yeah, but, I mean, it's affected my life where more people come up to me in public because I feel like, they feel like they know me personally because they've seen me talk and stuff, which is so awesome. I love it when you guys come up to me. How old are you? I'm 18 years old. What happened to t taking a fan out on a date and I hope you're having a good day? I hope you're having a good day too and I'm still doing it. It's when I hit 100,000 subscribers. How old... Wait, how did you deal with modeling? Was it hard? Was it easy? Explain. Um, when I first started, it was super, super hard. I had to lose some weight, and it was really hard, and I did it, and I killed myself doing it, but it was really hard for starting out. What do you think you'd be doing if you didn't get into a modeling career? I'd probably be in class right now at high school. <laughs> what time is it? It's 11.51. Yeah, I'd be sitting in class right now at this minute, minute, not shooting a YouTube video, <laughs> but being in class at uh, high school right now not being like that's what i'd be doing do you meet fans or do fans meet you yeah i have some of you guys come up to me and i love it love it so much i mean sometimes every now and then i'll pro i'll i'll know it's a subscriber because they'll be looking at me and they'll be kind of like is that her is that not her okay that's her should i say hi and it's like very sweet because like i get nervous too because i'm like wait is this person gonna come up to me or are they staring at me because i have something on my face or are they staring at me because they're subscribed to me and um it's funny because like people kind of stop and stare for a second and like be like is that like molly or not and then they'll eventually come up to me and i love it and it's so sweet are you planning on going on a fan or meetup i mean right now i don't think it'd be a good idea to because i don't think i'm at that level right now but i mean in the future of course i every day i wake up and i'm like so shocked at like how many people watch my videos and like how many subscribers i gain a day and it literally like, I really want to say thank you to everyone that watches my videos. Like, it's just, it's so insane, and I really do want to say thank you, and I'll always be appreciative no matter what. Do you still talk to Faze Rug? Of course! Of course, of course. 
go to winter ball with me actually i would love to this is something i want to do i'd love to go to prom with a subscriber or like a, a school dance with a subscriber because i just think it'd be a cool thing to do like if someone doesn't have like a date and they really want to take me or something i just think it'd be like cool to do to like be able to interact with my subscribers so i mean i don't know what exactly everyone's proms are or, like dances are but i mean i'd love to do that and like vlog the whole thing if that's okay with your school <laughs> Okay, so that's all the questions I'm going to be answering for today, but I love you guys so, so, so much, and I'll be filming more videos very, 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 very soon, and yeah, so I love you guys so much. Thank you for asking me all my questions, and I do truly appreciate every single one of you, and you guys really make me happy, and happy Valentine's Day. I love you all. Mwah.